uh, Keanu Weaver, how were you doing on SensorTube? I've got a bit of a an open question. If corporations and the 1% are set to buying so much where they can only resell to higher bidders, where will those who can't afford them be left to go? Here's the thing. Let's assume I have this to sell, right? I paid 50. There's a shortage of Cuban cigars, right? Let's say I decide to sell this for 100. Someone buys it. Good on me. I doubled my money, right? Let's say that person that decided to sell it, uh, decided to buy it, decides to sell it for 200. And let's say there's no bids. No one's all, no one's willing to pay that price, right? The person's going to drop down the price, right? Drop down, drop down, drop down. What if he brings it back to 100 and says, I just want to break even and there's no bids, right? If there's no bids in a market, then what's being sold collapses, drops. And that's what might happen with a lot of stocks. If there's no bids in the market, then the market collapses, right? That happens with anything. That could even happen with gold or silver, right? So they might try to sell, you know, hold on to it. No, we're not going to sell. But they have expenses. If they're printing the money, then they can just overinflate everything, print everything. Then you have hyperinflation or major inflation, what we've seen in the last four years, right? And the economy grinds to a halt, right? Free money is gone. Damn, what's going to happen? Because interest rates are going to kick up. Then they're going to flood the market again. You get hyperinflation. And once you get hyperinflation, anything is game. That means revolutions are game. That means heads rolling is game. That means the currency being worthless is game. That, mean the pro that means the property you own that used to be in a well-off neighborhood, something that was worth $10 million, is now only worth $2 million because, man, it's crime-ridden. Right? A lot of things shift.